Um, so, uh, one of the results of these budget and debt ceiling negotiations, uh, beyond the burden of default, seems to have been that there's a bit more goodwill that's been built up between the President and Speaker McCarthy and their teams. So I'm wondering, do you guys see any opportunities for bipartisan legislation going forward, and, and what is next on, on these, this administration's legislative agenda? Look, we, like I said, we've seen under this president, there's been about 350 pieces of bipartisan legislation that this president has signed into law. Many of those were historic pieces of legislation. Uh, when you think about the bipartisan infrastructure legislation, Inflation Reduction Act, all these uh, pieces of legislation that's going to create good paying jobs, lower uh, costs for health care costs for Americans, lower energy costs for Americans, uh, Chips and Science Act, we think about manufacturing jobs, creating uh, manufacturing jobs in this country. So look, these are all important things, important issues that the President wants to continue to work on, to continue to implement. And I talked about the gun, gun reform. We believe that there is a common sense approach here uh, that we can move forward and work with Congress on. Re reproductive rights, we believe that this is something that we need to continue to work very hard uh, towards, making sure that the wealthy uh, pay, uh, you know, pay their, uh, what, what they, uh, their fair share as well, and not just leave it on the, on the little guy. And so look, we're going to continue to work on, on, on an economy that works for everyone, we're making sure that it, 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 we build it from the bottom up, middle out. Those are the things that the President feels that he needs to continue to work towards. And so, yeah, there are places uh, that we see that could be a bipartisanship here. If we're really serious about the deficit, really serious about um, making sure that we reduce the deficit, the President put forth a, a plan, a budget plan March, uh, March 9th, on how we can uh, reduce the deficit by $3 trillion in the next 10 years. Uh, and so, yeah, there are ways that we believe that can be that we can move forward here with with Congress. Any plans for the president and the speaker to meet again in a non-crisis, non-emergency setting? No plans yet. <laughs> and secondly, um, 